Hi, I'm Mike Wolner, sales representative for Listen Technologies. And we're here at Northern Sound and Light to introduce you to the new LR4200 and LR5200 from Listen Technologies. Now, these are receivers for assistive listening. And if you're not familiar with the concept of assistive listening, or you want to learn a little bit more about it, there's another video uh, that's a little over 10 minutes long that explains the entire uh, structure of an assistive listening system that might be valuable for you to review. Uh, in that previous video, we introduced you to our standard belt packs, which uh, this one is an LR400. This is kind of a middle of the road uh, belt pack. And as you can see, it's, uh, it, it's relatively small. Uh, uses uh, typical hearing appliances. This is the ear speaker, one of my favorites. It just rides on top of the ear. Very unobtrusive, nothing enters the ear canal. It's a really, really nice way for people to, uh, to use these systems. But uh, in June of 2014, Listen introduced uh, the new IDSP line of uh, assistive listening receivers, the LR4200 and the LR5200. The primary difference between the two, uh, very similar to the difference between our LR400 and our LR500. Uh, the 5200 and the LR500 allow you to program the system so that only the channels that you're using are available for the user to flip through. So, for an example, if you had a church that was uh, native in English but was also uh, doing translation for Spanish and Korean. Uh, you could program this unit so that only those active channels were, were, were in the selecting field as they rotate through the different channels. Um, now this is a whole uh, departure from how uh, the industry has looked at uh, uh, assistive listening receivers and, and they're, they're just phenomenal little products. First and foremost, you can see the, the size difference, the form factor is just beautiful. It's much thinner, much smaller footprint. And that really helps the end user with the experience that they have because a lot of people just don't want a large thing on their belt and, and you know, a, a really long cord that's going up to their ear. It's kind of cumbersome and unobtrusive. And if grandma's in her Sunday best, you know, Easter dress, you know, she just doesn't want to ruin that look and ruin her hair. So this really adds a lot to the discreteness of using assistive listening receivers, uh, which is a big deal for the people that need them. Uh, what's nice about these is that they have an integral uh, lithium ion battery. So we use a, a standard USB jack, mini USB jack, just like your cellular phone, uh, and we can charge these up up to 500 charges. Uh, they'll run for many hours, you know, I think around seven or eight hours on a charge. Um, there are also two uh, outputs. So if, uh, if a couple came in and they both were hard of hearing, they could each actually use one of, of the jacks and just set this on the bench between them and have access to audio on both sides. Now the system comes with this lanyard, which uh, is pretty slick in terms of its design. When the lanyard's worn around the head, this actually becomes an inductive neck loop. And what that means is that people with hearing aids that, have a, that are equipped with a T-coil, they can turn that T-coil on, and if they've got this around their head, they're actually creating an electromagnetic field that the T-coil and the hearing aid will pick up and give them a direct feed off the console right into their hearing aid. It's absolutely incredible audio quality. And, and really, if you have a hearing aid, it's the right way to, to get assistive listening. Uh, but what this also does is it allows us to use shorter cables because we can plug right into this little connector here and now we've got a much cleaner, much simpler, much less obtrusive system. You don't have that big wire hanging down, the big thing on your back, uh, on your uh, belt rather. And it's just a, a, a much cleaner, much nicer experience for the end user, which is exactly what we were going after. Now there's a beautiful uh, OLED display on the front, which will allow you to change the, the level of the uh, output, 
It'll allow you to flip through different channels. And these channels, by the way, uh, can be managed alphanumerically. So you could have one that says sanctuary. You can have one that says youth room. You can have one that says theater. Um, and uh, that way they don't have to guess, you know, am I supposed to be on channel A? Am I supposed to be on channel B? Make it really easy. In fact, in order to do that, there's a software package uh, that goes with the IDSP products that allows you to manage these products completely and manage your inventory. Um, if, uh, if you're a, um, let's say, a higher education facility and you've got an auditorium and you've got a few students in the class of 200 that are hard of hearing, you can actually loan these out for the semester and you can use the IDSP software to record who has which unit. You can even take a picture of them and store that in the database. So you completely manage the inventory of the IDSP products that you have. Um, the IDSP also uses uh, IDSP SQ which is our companding system, which greatly exceeds the uh, industry norm of roughly 60 to 65 dB signal to noise, which is kind of noisy. Uh, you know, CDs are around 90 dB signal to noise. Um, and so 60 is kind of hissy. There's a lot of background noise in the background, which is not really what you want when you're trying to help somebody understand what's being said. Uh, our DSP SQ system uh, gives you an extra 20 dB of signal to noise. Uh, so 80 dB of signal to noise in these guys. Very, very clean, high quality audio. Um, so this is the IDSP from Listen Technologies, the LR4200, LR5200. They're available now. Talk to your Northern Sound and Light representative and have a great day.